All right, so we got a key stuck in this here, and it doesn't seem to be like the normal, normally what would happen if, if a key was stuck in here, the tailpiece would usually just need to be tightened up. Um, and basically I'd be able to push on the cylinder uh, with my fingers, kind of push in and release that bind, and then it would let go. Uh, but on this the forge, um, does not seem to be the case. So we have to do some other further work. So we'll pop it open. Luckily, we are still getting to the shear line. Um, so it should turn and remove. Uh, if it did not, you'd be able to pop the cap off here and remove it that way. So we've got that to come out there. Still just does not want to release in any way, shape, or form. <clears throat> so I'm not seeing anything too crazy. Maybe there's just a hook on this key or something. Everything seems to be lining up. So what we'll do is we'll just... So basically, what I'm guessing is, is there's a lack of lubricant in here, um, and then we're probably also catching on this uh, thing right here. So these these teeth are super, super sharp, and it looks like one's got a little bit of a back hook to it. So the way I fix this... <clears throat> is get my file that I can't find that I need You can be done with a straight file too, but I like this half round file. Basically what we're going to do is just kind of hit the tops of these, smooth it all out, and make that transition a whole lot easier. So basically that's what it's going to look like. You can see now how it's not so sharp and jagged. And then when I put that in there, and let everything fall down. Oh, did we lose a pin? We lost a pin. <clears throat> now, it should come in and out nice and easy. So, that's pretty much what the problem was. Just a little bit too sharp on the key. So the key was really the problem, not so much the lock. Um, we'll go ahead and put some... Uh, lubrication in this as well and uh, that should heal it all up so we'll go ahead and put this back together and slide that in and out this is where using a proper lock lubricant is really gonna go ahead and help things out you know people say if you need a you shouldn't have to lubricate your locks if they're working properly well this is uh, it's, uh Example of when you do need a little lubrication to keep things operating properly in here. <clears throat> Multi purpose dry lube. Like better, just like magic. Um, 
Probably just doing the lubrication would have helped out without having to actually file the key down, but I want to make sure that I don't have to come back to this and do another service call. Uh, so getting those ridges out is really what the solution for this problem was. Um, didn't look too extreme to me, but we do have a fairly deep cut here and then a fairly high one here. Uh, looks like we're going, to be going from a 7 to a 2. Uh, and that's a pretty drastic um, <clears throat> incline to go up. So for more information, check out the website below.